it's been taking my life, <laughs> but it's been in a wonderful journey. A journey that's taken this choreographer from the streets of San Francisco to the theaters of New York and now the heart of the Canadian prairies. I mean, it's not every day you get asked. <laughs> For the, this sort of opportunity. Anyway. Since July, Val Canaparoli has been working closely with the Royal Winnipeg Ballet. This thing with the jetés is good. Adjusting arms and reworking intricate footwork. And then you'll be that. That's where you'll go underneath, and that's it. The rigors of creating a new ballet for the world-renowned dance company, based on the classic fairy tale Cinderella. Well, it's not this, you know, any kind of bizarre version of it, but you will see the Cinderella story within my concept as well. But it's a far cry from what Walt Disney envisioned. Set in the 1950s and choreographed to the jazzy sounds of Richard Rogers, this modern day Cinderella is full of twists and turns, graceful movements of classical ballet, and of course, a little cha-cha-cha. There is the jitterbug, there is the swing, there is the, some Latin tango, but it's, it's not of the modern ballroom dancing. I just incorporate so many things, other dance forms into my work, but with a classical bass. How I do it, I don't know. You just sit back and go, okay, I'm gonna give it a shot. But pushing that creative envelope could come at a price. The cutting edge choreographer isn't expecting a fairy tale ending for his Cinderella. And this is, could possibly be one of those where I will have a lot of criticism. And I don't like to play it safe. And I know I usually will get attacked, but I just, I keep doing it. When she goes, ba da da, you can just go, woof, scary. Connie Tomoto, Global News, Winnipeg. I think the crux of, a, of an arts organization or a creative organization is creations. The Royal Winnipeg Ballet has always been a company that pushes creative boundaries with productions like Ecstasy of Rita Joe. Mark Godin's The Magic Flute. And now a modern day Cinderella. We want to be relevant to our art form, uh, an art form that has to move forward. If you don't move forward, you will slowly pass away. It's that desire to be relevant that has the RWB creating its second full-length ballet in as many years. We want to be a ballet company for the 21st century. A bold move for a celebrated ballet company like the RWB, renowned for traditional productions like Swan Lake and Giselle. But it's a creative risk the artistic director says is worthwhile. If you say, well, let's not do it because it's a risk, then nothing new will get created. But the creative risk carries with it the risk of financial disaster. The cost of the production is $500,000, a staggering price tag for a small ballet company and one of the most expensive productions ever staged by the RWB. Well, it does absolutely put some, some stress on the business side of the operation. Despite the artistic and financial stress that comes with producing a new ballet, A Cinderella Story was one production the RWB couldn't pass up. There's always extreme challenges. The, the budgets are, are very squeezed and you have to make some tough decisions and I think that's really what it's all about is having a clear direction and making the tough decisions that line up with that direction. But it's Cinderella's mass appeal that will ultimately determine its fate. There are so many aspects about this ballet that make it so accessible to everyone. You, you don't have to be uh, a ballet aficionado to come and see this ballet and enjoy it. Ballet fan or not, the true test of success will be measured at the box office. Connie Tomoto, Global News, Winnipeg.
The moves are poised, strong, and confident, the characteristics you expect in a ballet soloist. But despite the aura of confidence, dancing the lead in the Royal Winnipeg Ballet's latest production, A Cinderella Story, is a challenge even this seasoned dancer struggles with. And those challenges have brought Giuseppe Di Ruggiero full circle. Getting back to ballet basics isn't easy. Especially after spending a year and a half as a scuba diving instructor in Indonesia and three years as a carpenter in Holland. Well, two weeks before I came here, I was still building furniture <laughs> in Holland. Coming back after five years was if anybody knows sports or dancing, they know that if you didn't train for five years, it's a big deal to get back to that level. Bitter and burned out, he abandoned the high drama of ballet for a life outside the arts. And I, I start to become very bitter, uh, you know, talking bad about everybody and everything, always complaining. And that's not me, absolutely, and not, it's not in my character. So at one point I was like, I don't want to live this way. For five years, I actually didn't miss it. But when he finally returned to the studio, he realized how strong his passion for ballet really was. When I walk into a studio, it feels so good. It's just, it's just part of uh, who I am. It's nice um, having someone that's been away from dance for a while and coming back to it because you know that they really love it. They really want to be here and they want to get something out of it. Yes, behind it. Don't, don't stop it. Don't stop it. Sure. It's been amazing. He's been off four years and this is his first thing and slammed him with this odd style and uh, he's taking to it very well. I mean, my hats are off to him. And while building furniture and exploring the ocean floor will always remain options. It's the creative energy of ballet that invokes passion in the dancer. Connie Tomoto, Global News, Winnipeg. role in Winnipeg's music scene. Since his early teens. Celebrated and recognized for his talent as an artist. Ron is an incredibly eclectic, uh, well, musicians and composer. Now Ron Paley is embarking on a new challenge, arranging the tunes of Broadway composer Richard Rogers for the Royal Winnipeg Ballet's latest full-length production, A Cinderella Story. My romance would normally be... We're doing it like this. It's always challenging to rearrange music and, and, and I love that challenge and this is certainly a challenge because it's uh, had to rearrange it so it would fit the mood and the feel of the, the scene and the dance that the dance movements that Val Canaparoli has choreographed. But despite his talent as a musician, the jazz artist almost didn't make the cut. Some of the best Broadway arrangers all want to do it, some of the best music, uh, movie, uh, people wanted to do this. It wasn't until after meeting with Paley that the choreographer knew he was the one. The first second I talked to him, I knew it was going to work out. And for Paley, accompanying the RWB in a groundbreaking fusion of ballet, big band swing, and a modern day fairy tale is something he would take on again. We feel honored, privileged, and very happy to be doing this. Do it again sometime? Next year? <laughs> oh, yes, we'd love to do it. Absolutely. 
Connie Tomoto, Global News, Winnipeg. Black fringe here and in pink here. With just days left before the opening night of the Royal Winnipeg Ballet's new half million dollar production, A Cinderella Story, seamstresses at the wardrobe department are busy making the final cuts. And last minute stitches on some of the most elegant costumes they have ever worked on. I don't think we have anything that's like this. Inspired by 1950s high fashion runway designer Christian Dior, this ballet offers up more red carpet glam than classic crinoline tutus and tights. There's a diversity for us. There's, there's only one tutu in it. There's no net skirts in it. There's no um, classical prince jackets in it. So it's all new for us. And at the design studio, Prop builders are creating these elaborate sets that will transform a bare stage into a 1957 mansion and enchanted garden. Your first impressions upon looking at the drawings is something that um, you want to be a part of it. It is something that is fairly, fairly intense on a lot of levels. Both the 50s costumes and unique Art Deco sets are the brainchild of San Francisco designer Sandra Woodale. I try to work with the concept and be, be true to the concept and um, look for, you know, look for that that idea within it and then if it all adds up which I hope it does then maybe they will have the wow factor. One creation sure to have that wow factor are the enchanted animal costumes. But I tried to create that quality of the animal by using a garment and manipulating the garment. Manipulating them to create the illusion of the animal but with human qualities like this toad costume. So what we ended up doing is having dyed fabric <clears throat> two-tone dyed fabric with an inset of mesh down the side and we put some gills on the side of the leg that gives it the feeling. Then it's going to be painted into in a tattoo effect. The price tag for the high fashion costumes and elaborate sets is just over $250,000. They took nearly three months to complete. Connie Tomoto, Global News, Winnipeg. months of rehearsals and hours of physically draining work, the Royal Winnipeg Ballet's much anticipated production, A Cinderella Story, is making the leap from the studio to the stage. The vision behind the half million dollar production began five years ago when artistic director Andre Lewis commissioned a San Francisco choreographer to create a modern day Cinderella. The only two stipulations I had to him was I did not want us to use the Prokofiev score. And the other stipulation is I just didn't want it to be the old fashioned Cinderella. Transforming this into this, a version of Cinderella set in 1957 and accompanied by the Ron Paley Big Band. It's not sort of leather and poodle skirts of the 50s that have been done so many times. This is really what is completely unique and lasting and quintessentially cool about the 50s, all wrapped into a two and a half hour show. And the choreography is as unique as the concept and smooth swinging sounds. While still true to traditional ballet forms, a Cinderella story pushes the limit by incorporating some of the popular dances of the 50s. There's the hand jive, you know, there's Madison, there's, there's steps that I know are in there, maybe you might be able to see it. These 1950s Christian Dior inspired costumes also help capture the era. The costumes for the ballroom are all based on really, on real couture garments. But perhaps the most interesting twist in this modern day ballet is the transformation of this television into the magical carriage that whisks the RWB's Cinderella to the ball, a 1957 Chevy convertible. 
The RWB's A Cinderella Story enchants audiences until October 24th. Connie Tomoto, Global News, Winnipeg. The Royal Winnipeg Ballet raised the curtain on one of the most anticipated and expensive productions they've ever staged. And with the price tag coming in at over half a million dollars, A Cinderella Story could also be one of the most risky productions the RWB has ever put on. There are so many Cinderellas out there. I mean, the, the ballet world is saturated with Cinderellas. It took nearly five years to get a Cinderella story off the ground. Hours of rehearsals and months of recreating the look and essence of 1957. So the big question is, was the RWB's modern version of the classic fairy tale enough to set it apart, yet still draw on the crowds it needs to be a success? It is kind of tongue-in-cheek for quite a lot of the time. I mean, everything is like over the top, right? But then eventually you do begin to realize there's a genuine romance at the heart of it. And the pas de deux, um, particularly in the second act, which sort of capture that. And although a Cinderella story's cutting edge choreography may push the creative envelope throughout most of the production, it's not totally void of traditional ballet. And I kind of enjoyed the little nods to sort of the classical tradition, you know, like with the fairy godmother and the tutu, but d d dancing classically to a jazzy rhythm and sort of jutting her hips and so on. I mean, these were clever little touches. And the audience also embraced the modern day fairy tale, giving it a review as enchanting as the ballet itself. Sure, I'm really not a ballet uh, lover, but um, this is actually my first ballet, and I think it's, uh, it's phenomenal. It's been terrific. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the choreography, the music, the costumes, the dancers, it's really, really great. I like all the, like the animals and stuff because it looks cool. It's like nothing the ballet has ever done. There was a circus ballet a number of years ago that had a similar idea to it, but this is quite unusual for the ballet. It's quite lovely. Unusual, phenomenal, or just plain cool, the RWB's A Cinderella Story runs from now until Sunday. Connie Tomoto, Global News, Winnipeg.